Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to do this lightning uh, effect as you see here and it's going to be a VFX graph. So it's a particle setup and you see this cloud here. It's actually from another tutorial that I made. So I'm going to leave it in the comments if you want to have a cloud like this, but you really don't need a cloud. It's just for the visuals. So it's a pretty easy setup, actually not too hard and you can from script, if you want, you can just uh, have this position. Well, maybe we should do line end like this. So if you want to control it, it, if you want it to hit different places, you could do that. So that could be fun to be making in interactive uh, lightning stuff. So let's get started and do this. First off, we're going to just start in a fresh scene. And I have it prepared here. So this one is empty and the first thing I just want to have this um, let's see here this cloud I want this um, this cloud but of course you don't need it you can just have any anything else I'm just gonna have it I like it and um, so yeah but we do need a VFX setup, so I'm going to delete this one here and make a new one. So we're going to have, um, let's see, visual effect, visual effect graph. And I'm going to do a simple trail. Yeah, let's do that. And then I'm going to put it in the scene and let's open it up so I'm gonna have the scene down here so it's um, easy to see what's going on and I want to hide this one how do I hide this um, ah I don't want it collapse all right cool I'll put it here so, and um, let's see what we do. Okay, we're going to clean up this one. We're going to spawn, we're going to empty. And here we're going to set lifetime. We're going to keep. And we're also going to have, uh, um, yeah, we can leave this. So we need here we're going to have an integer and do resolution and we also need start and end and this is going to represent the start start and end position of the lightning so this is fine and here we're going to have uh, the resolution I'm actually not, not going to expose it. I'm just going to hard code it. So we're going to have a, a value of, um, let's do 15. So here we're going to do burst, periodic burst. So each second, second, we're going to create 15 particles. So in here, the strip capacity, we're going to do make it 100 to keep it um, high if we want to add it later. A particle per strip count is going to be 20. We only want 20, no, actually, fifth, sorry, 15. We're going to have 15 on each um, particle uh, strip. <clears throat> and the lifetime, we're going to do it like 0 0.5 at the moment. So the lightning only going to exist for a half a second. So we need to here in the update particles strip, we're going to do set uh, position. So what we want to do, we're going to have a start. So the start going to be, um, we're going to do it like two. So it's going to be somewhere up here and end. It's going to be zero. So it's down in the center. Now we need to do a lerp. 
between these ones. So the start gonna be zero and end gonna be one. And now we need to, this value here gonna be a value between zero and one to represent where the particle is gonna go. Gonna go. And the way to do it is not that tricky. So what we do if we get particle particle index in strip. So this one will uh, give us from zero to one, uh, 20, uh, 15, sorry, because we have 15 here. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do a remap and the remap gonna be from zero to one. Or maybe this is one, actually I don't really know. Maybe they low, sometimes the first value is zero, sometimes it's one, and I don't really know what it is in this one. I think it's zero, I hope it is. It should be in an array at least. So we got zero to 15 and we wanna convert it to zero to one. So by doing this, now they have, um, positioned from the top to the bottom like this so this is good now we know it's working and we're gonna remove um, we're gonna do this default dot we're gonna have um, something default trail so that's nice so we could actually move up the cloud a bit that's nice and we can do the color. I'm going to remove that one. And then we're going to do a set color. I'm going to do, do 10, 10, 100. So that's going to be the color on the lightning. <clears throat> and multiply, multiply size over life. We're going to... Um, well, we're also going to do that. So, but I'm actually going to wait a little bit with it we're just gonna have this one because first i want to do some stuff here because i want to do the jig, uh, jitter on the lightning so the way to do this we need to um, make a noise and add to this one and let's see how to do this the best way because it can be a little bit messy here so this part is doing, well, just this line. So that's good. And what we do, we need an, another lerp because this value is a straight line. And now we're gonna uh, keep the beginning and the end. So that's gonna be in zero. And then we're gonna have this um, uh, noise here. So we're gonna have a value noise. And then we're actually gonna do this um, add. So I'm gonna open this one up and do a float free here and close it. So what I wanna do, I'm just gonna add in the X and also in the Z. And so then we have the straight line. And then we have this noise that we added to the straight line. So now, if we do zero here, it's gonna represent um, the, uh, this input here. And if we do one here, it's gonna be this one. And at the moment it's straight, so let's check out what's going on here. And um, why is it working? All right, so I just tried to find the error and um, I don't know if it was a bug or something or something I just totally missed because I removed this add node. And made it again so we have this one represent a straight line right and then we add this noise here so you see now it's noisy 
And the range here, we're going to change that once. So if we do float and if we do uh, negate that one, and then we do a vector two of this one. So actually, um, if we do a vector two like this, and we do the negated one in X and the positive one in I, <clears throat> Then we can just plug this one in here and we can have this float here somewhere and do the noise. Uh, let's see, noise, yeah, noise. We can do noise scale and spell it correctly. Noise scale, super nice. So we have it here and we're gonna. Now we see it's a straight line. And then we just do 0 0.1. I think that would be enough. And also I want the frequency to go up a little bit. Super nice. All right. So this is the beginning. But um, you see there is more we need to do to it. So in the next tutorial, we're going to make sure that it always start at the start and always stop at the end position and have some jitter and some uh, impact uh, particles. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.